This is Engineer Faisal Ijaz. I hope you will be fine. In this channel, I prepared detailed lectures for chemical engineers and also for associate engineers. In this channel, you will find playlists of different engineering subjects which will help you in your study, in your interviews and also during your professional industrial life. So subscribe my channel for more videos. Hope you will be fine. This is Engineer Faisal Ijaz and today I will present a lecture on a topic ultrasonic flow meter. So in this lecture I will explain the construction and working principle of ultrasonic flow meter. Here in this diagram you can see the two rods which are connected on a pipeline. So these rods are ultrasonic flow meter and these are measuring flow in this pipeline some animals like bats dolphin rats whales and some birds are also used ultrasound and uh, through this they communicate with each other so a frequency which human cannot hear is called ultrasonic sound and uh, that frequency range is 20,000 plus hertz. So a human cannot hear the voice of a frequency 20,000 and above 20,000. Moreover, bats and dolphins use echolocation ultrasound techniques to find food uh, through dark caves. So we will use a similar technique to measure flow rate, density and viscosity of a flowing fluid in a pipeline. Working principle of ultrasonic flow meter. So here three points are very important. So concentrate on these. The first one is the transmitter will emit ultrasonic waves. And the second one is the opposite side of a receiver will receive these waves. In simple, one side of meter will emit waves and the second side will receive these waves. So it's a principle. So uh, this process will happen in both direction with the flow and against the flow. In this chart, you can see the lines. Uh, the first one is with flow and the second line is of against flow. So the difference between these two lines is time difference. So always this meter will measure two readings and uh, the first one will be with flow and always the second will be against the flow then we will find the difference of these two readings and this result will be our desired volumetric flow rate and uh, when no flow conditions uh, will be in the pipe then our difference uh, of this time uh, will be zero so it's a mean uh, there is no flow in the pipe Ultrasonic flow meters are of two types. The first one is transit time uh, type and the second one is Doppler effect type. So transit time flow meter. So these uh, flow meters are used when the flowing fluid in the pipe do not have any solid particle. So in this meter two or more transmitters and receivers are attached to the pipe. As you know, the one is transmitter which will emit ultrasonic waves and the second one is receiver which will receive these waves. So according to its advantages that sensor do not have any moving part and its maintenance cost will be low and measurement will be accurate. Inline flow meter. This flow meter measure volumetric flow rate very accurately because it is directly contacted with the fluid. Here you can see the diagram of this flow meter. Doppler effect flow meter is a second type of ultrasonic flow meter. So these flow meters are used when the flowing fluid in the pipelines contains particles or bubbles. 
it's a second type of transit flow meter and clamp on flow meters are used when we need no interaction of fluid with flow meter but you have seen in the previous type the flow meter and uh, fluid are in direct contact so in this uh, type no interaction is required so due to this uh, this flow meter uh, measure uh, less accuracy and uh, the reason is that uh, that flow meter is uh, clamped outside of the pipe now try to understand doppler effect so uh, we will uh, use an example of uh, an ambulance siren uh, through which we will try to understand doppler effect when the ambulance passes through the road the siren sound will be high when the ambulance will be near to us but when it goes away the sound will be vanish so this happens when the siren sound remains the same so uh, due to different locations the sound will be uh, decrease or increase but the sound uh, quantity and sound uh, intensity will remain the same so this is called a doppler effect the conclusion of this example is that when ambulance is changing its location the frequency of sound is also changing so that principle will be apply in this uh, flow meter as this flow meter is used uh, where fluid have particles in it so uh, when a transmitter will emit its radiation then these radiations will strike with these particles and then reflect and go to receiver so uh, these particles will change its location during flow uh, so uh, that uh, will be uh, according to doppler effect as the frequencies will change uh, with the time what is doppler effect doppler effect is nothing but uh, we try to understand it with the help of an example of uh, ambulance siren so when the ambulance passes through the road uh, the siren sound will be high when the ambulance will be near to us but the sound will be vanish when it goes away from us so this happens even the siren sound remain the same so this is called the doppler effect the same effect is used in the doppler effect flow meter so that flow meter contain one sensor have both a transmitter and a receiver the transmitter will emit the ultrasound waves as you know uh, the fluid flowing in the pipe will have particles so these waves will uh, reflect with the particles which are present in the flowing fluid so after reflecting uh, these waves will uh, move towards the receiver and a receiver will receive these waves but the frequency will be changed the frequency shift is directly proportional to the flow rate of the fluid combined flow meters these flow meters are used where maximum accuracy is required advantages of these flow meters the first one is a very accurate measurement no contact needed and uh, the third one is low maintenance and a uh, fourth one is can be used for small to large pipes uh, according to this advantages they have high initial cost and uh, the second one is clamp on type meter will limit due to wall thickness of the pipe